All right, I am recording. If I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times, you guys, you have to wear pants to my class. You cannot keep on. No, I said we're... put them back on. That's my bad. Ugh. <laughs> I'm keeping them on. All right, so here we go. Um, yesterday we did examples, or not yesterday, but Thursday you guys did examples one, two, and three, right? Um, if you are doing your notes on a separate piece of paper, then besides the back side of the one I gave you, make sure you label the top of it 7.1, day two. We're going to do example four. Stop. Right now. I'm serious. Don't forget that I will get mad at you and I will take things away from you guys if you disrespect me. Um, we're going to do two examples today. Does everybody have two colors? Mm -hmm. If you need to still get two colors, go get them. All right, now you guys watched the video before. So what do we do when we're graphing two lines? The point of this whole thing is to graph two lines and to see where they cross, right? Yes. So what do we do when we're graphing two lines, and it doesn't look like it normally looks? What do we do? We Mason. Move the X to the other side. Right. Make it look like Y equals MX plus B. So the first thing we should do is, he said, move the X. So I'm going to add 3X to both sides. That makes 2y equals 3x plus 12. Why do you think I chose to put the 3x first? Because yeah. So then it looks like y equals mx plus b. Yeah, did you just die while you said it? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes, it, so that it looks like y equals mx plus b. Now, how do I get y by itself? You have to divide. divide. By what? By 2. Divide everything by 2. So this is y equals 3 halves x plus 6. Why do you guys think that I chose to leave it as 3 halves instead of turning that into 1 and half? Because 3 divided by 2 is 1 and a half. Sam. Right, you need the rise over the run thingy. God, it's one job. Hey, one job. Hey, hey. Settle it down. Thank you very much. Yeah. Did you have um, Justin and Zane? Yeah. Thank you. Where are Justin and Zane? They were just with you a second ago, though? How long ago did they leave you? Well, I literally closed the storage unit and they came straight back here. And they okay. Left, like, just they're probably getting their stuff from the lockers or something. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> All right, I will give them like three minutes of the benefit of the doubt. Yes. I realized realize that this oh. last one Okay. So, um, somebody tell me, how do I uh, graph this line? Thank you. We gotta get our stuff. Go quick. Yep. So, how do I graph this? Where do I start? Uh, at six. Preston. Use goal six. That's a cool number. Not because it's a cool number, but because it's the y intercept. <laughs> Graphing lines is not always start at six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then what? Ooh, opposite. Rise over run happens first, right? So what am I going to do, Trevor? Up three over two. Up three over two. And then the opposite, down three to the left, two. Oh, huh? oh my God, it's my dog. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to highlight this line. Blue. Okay, well, hey, mine looks like that too. How do I always get paid for the Preston? You guys are behind. I appreciate that you took care of the drama stuff. I really, really appreciate it, but you guys got to catch up now. We're on the back side of the notes that you took on Thursday, which you're also going to have to show me. 
the notes we took on Thursday when you watched the video? They were on graph paper. Yeah. All right, now the second equation, we've got to redo two. I'm just going to rewrite it right here. All right, who wants to tell me about this one? Jack. Um, we'll have to minus 6x. Agreed. Now I've got negative 4y equals negative 6x plus 8. And then? Okay. So now I get y equals... Can anybody do this in their head? Can anybody reduce negative 6 divided by negative 4? Preston. That's, that's I don't think this is going to work. Zane is too tall and I can't see the board. So you want to switch to the front? <laughs> I want to sit over there. No. <laughs> well, then all these Sam. people are in your way. Then you have Sam. <laughs> yes. Three halves. Three halves. X plus a negative 2. Negative 6 divided by a negative 4. Uh, negative divided by a negative is a positive. And then 6 fourths reduced is uh, 3 halves. And boys, I am recording so that you can watch this. Okay. All right. Now, where would the y-intercept for this one go? Negative 2. Negative 2. Because that's And then it's going to go it's cool. up 3 cool. over 2 cool. again. So it does it Whoa, what? My brain no hurt. solution. My brain hurt. Yes, good job, Mason. Like good job, Trevor. My brain hurts. All right. Everybody, here we go. So we have two lines here, and they are what? Parallel. Parallel. These are parallel lines, which means where do they cross? Never. No. Never. And that is what no solution problems are in this case. So I want you to write parallel lines, no solution. Now, can anybody tell me how could you have known that it would be parallel lines, no solution, even before doing the problem? Uh, Sam. They have the same rise over on the same slope, right? Three halves, three halves. Can you guys see that they'll, they'll never cross? Yes. Now, here's the cool part. In your homework, if you ever run across one where they have the same slope but different y-intercepts, you don't even have to graph it. You can just write parallel lines, no solution. Okay? Uh, one more we're doing, example five. Last one. Now, right. Now, can you... So what Preston just says, something tells me this is going to be infinite solutions. And the reason why is because every time we do weird answers, it's always no solution or infinite solutions, right? Yes. So my question is this. Can anybody tell me, if we know that no solution looks like parallel lines, what does infinite solutions look like? Infinite. Tell me graphically what it looks like. Go ahead, tell me. No, those are still parallel, even if they're this way. Yeah? Uh, what's, what's it be... Um, just straight up and down lines no. that are on top of each other.